Welcome back to the series where I turn your video game ideas into reality. If you want to see your idea in one of these videos, all you gotta do is subscribe and comment below. The winner for this episode comes from Minigun Turtle. He says, a racing game where the track is a Mobius strip or something similar. So something like this, I think is what he's talking about. Totally didn't have to look that up. Really interesting idea. You're gonna to want to stick around for this because we do something crazy. Immediately after seeing this comment, I felt like I had to make this game, dude. Great idea, bro. And I had a couple ideas on how to do it. First thing, obviously, just check the asset store, bro. I've stolen, I mean, borrowed so many things from people before. So do a quick search and, oh no, there's nothing on the asset store. All right, well, second idea, let's try to model our own. So we're gonna create a giant donut here, <laughs> cut a hole in one side and then try to twist it. Oh, that did not work. <laughs> let's try that again. No, no not even close. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm not sure what scaling does. Oh, it's just getting worse with time. All right, well, I guess it's time for my third idea, which is to dynamically program the entire thing, which is going to take a lot of work, but it'll totally be worth it. Time to get back to programming. This time, I guess we're making an entire racetrack algorithm. Only problem is I barely know how to manipulate 3D models, but how hard can it be? I manipulated you into watching this video I think I can do the same to some game of jazz All right, honestly, that went way better than I thought it would. Okay, so I came up with a really interesting solution to allowing the car to go upside down. Because by default, as soon as you have a loop and you try to drive through it, you're just going to fall off, bro. It's not going to work. So what's happening behind the scenes is I turned off gravity on the car completely. And instead, I apply a small force straight down from wherever the car is facing. So the gravity will always be relative to the car. That way we can go through loops and stuff and it's not a big deal at all. So all we got to do from here is steal, I mean borrow, a car off the asset store do a little bit of lighting work post-processing and what do you know here we go so i added a timer to see how far you can get on this track and all this has been completely generated from our code built a little bit of car physics which feel really good and we're just going along here and sometimes the track gets really narrow which is pretty difficult i don't really know why it happens it's like literally a glitch in the code but i kept it because it's awesome but it's so hard bro no just zooming around here this already feels like a finished game it's pretty awesome there's a lot i could do with this in the future i feel like let's see if we can get any redemption on this little section here please please come on so yeah this was a quicker video but i had a lot of fun making it and i'm excited with the finished results let me know what you think in the comments and put your ideas down below for the next video and i'll see you in the next one bro come on please give me redemption let me get through this